With the release of DaVinci Resolve 18.1, Blackmagic Design mentioned in the release notes that they've done some improvements to the window scaling for the interface for Resolve. But it looks like some people have settings in the preferences that allow you to address that. And for a lot of others, that is missing and actually has changed the way it's scaling. So like on my system, it previously worked fine with the settings I had, but now they no longer work correctly. And I'll show you here what it looks like. So now if I double click on this and start Resolve version 18.1, It comes up the all the fonts and the window are quite large and if i come into the actual interface with the inspector open i was able to have the two viewers but now i have to close them and then i have that option and just everything is too big and i have the scaling set to 125 percent which is what i had before for the window scaling but this has changed from 18 18.04 so i found a workaround so I actually created a second copy of the shortcut and you could do this to the original one. I just did this to be safe. So if you right click on the shortcut, go to properties under target, I'll post on the screen here. You have to uh, paste in, uh, basically it's using the PowerShell to open resolve with settings for the high DPI and setting that to zero. And I'll also have that in the description. But once you've pasted that in here, click apply. So now if I double click on this shortcut, the changed one, it'll open up. You can already see that the splash screen here is smaller. And if I go into the edit page, I now have with the inspector open the ability to have the two different viewers. So hopefully with the maybe 18.11, an update to this, or maybe it'll just, if they can quickly solve the issue, have it up and just have it be 18.1, but they'll have it actually fixed for all people. Again, this is just a Windows issue. It seems to be, I think with the Mac version, it works fine. But again, if you, if it's not working correctly for you with this newest version or with the upgrade to 18.1, you could do this little fix temporarily until they get it worked out. But hopefully you found this video useful and I thank you for watching.